In this lesson, I want to give you a quick overview of the framework that we just installed in the last lesson. So you go to template from extensions, template manager. Now this is where you manage all your templates. And then you want to click on the helix here, the shaper too. This is what it looks like. And from here, you can be able to manage the template. You can make a lot of changes from back here. So when you go to the basics, it gives you the basic information here. You can set the width of the, the page right now it's set to 1170, which is this wide. You can change that to 970. Let's see how that looks. So you notice this a little bit smaller. So the, the choice that you have here is you can keep the default, which is 1170, or you can have the 970. 940 I'm sorry it's just a matter of personal preference so I'm just going to put it back to the 1170 and this is where you manage your images so if you want to change an image you just click here where it says select image you just click on select and then you should be able to grab one from your computer um, directly into here you can just click choose files and you can grab it from uh, your computer now you can also use text so I'm just going to change this to Joomla School. And then you can put in your slogan. And you can also change the, the height and the width of this particular text here. So I'm just going to leave it at the default, but you can, also, you can certainly change that. And then here you have the positions. You can choose what position that you want that to be in. So right now, this is the logo here. So when I click save, you're going to notice that the logo is going to change. So now it's saying Joomla school and not the other logo there. And then you can also, if you don't want a logo on it, you can just click on none and you won't have any logo on there. So I'm just going to leave this at the text. And then for the bottom here, if you want to change that information, you can change all that uh, where it says copyright. You can change all this stuff here. And you have the option of showing or hiding the Joomla credit. So you can you can change that if you want to customize it and you can change to a design by you can change that information there. And where it says go to top settings, this is this little icon right here. When you click on it, it takes you back to the top. So you can choose if you want that or not. And then for the preset, you have different presets here. And as you can see, based on the presets, this uh, section here is different. So I'm just going to leave that at the default and you can choose the head of color, the background color. You can customize the color scheme for this, which is, you know, is really great because if you want to, if you don't want to go with the default, then you can certainly just change uh, the color schemes that you want here. I'll let you play around with that. And then for the layout, this is one of the, the best features why I love this framework so much and why I recommend it and use it a lot, you know. You can easily move things around. What you're seeing right now is these are the different module positions. And with this, if you want to move a certain module position from one section to the next, normally you have to go to the code and, you know, code some stuff in there. And, and but if you're not a programmer, you know, that can be challenging. So what this does is it allows you to just drag things over. So, for example, the header module position, which has the logo in it, if you want to move, move that so that is at the bottom, you can just drag and put it here and it's going to move. So let's say we want to take this main body. Let me reset this here. Let's say we want to take the main body, which is this text and which is the logo. And we want this whole body here to be above the logo. Well, you can certainly do that without coding. All we have to do at this point is just drag this. Drag it all the way to the top. And then you click save. So let's refresh this now. And you notice that it's right here at the bottom. And the main part here is at the top. Now, usually, you know, in order for you to get something like this, you would have to code it in and, you know, become so much more um, of unnecessary work that you don't need to worry about. So you can move things around. But for starters, you know, it's always good just to um, go with the default. So you get more comfortable, then you can um, do that. There are times when I'm working on something, I realize I don't want a particular section to be there. And then I can just move things around. And then you can also add more columns. You can um, edit more of this stuff here. 
And then here with the menu, you get to choose the type of menu, uh, the, the main menu that you want to be associated right now will set to the home. And then you can choose the menu settings here, the mega menu drop line split. And then you choose this, all the different stuff here for the menu and then for the fonts. And you have to advance, you can enable Google Analytics so you can track your, your visitors. And then you have the menu assignment. Now menu assignment allow you to do what's called a template override. And an override allows you to assign different templates to different pages. So if you have, if you want to have different sections that don't look exactly the same, you can use that here. Um, to be able to do that. And I'm not going to go into too much detail because I want to really help you to get your online school going. So if you don't understand what something back here is, the rule of thumb is if you don't know what it is, don't mess with it. You know, just leave it. Because if you accidentally change something or click something here, then you find yourself uh, in a very challenging situation because you have to reset everything. So let me click save and close and let's move on to the next lesson.